Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Last time, we got Strago back on our team, and I spent the episode powering up Realm and Strago, and at the end of last episode, I said I was going to go get the uh, Behemoth suits, which I did. I got two of them for fighting the Behemoth Kings on the belt. And before going on, I want to show you just how good the Behemoth suit actually is. So let's get that all queued up here, and let me show you this thing. Strago and Realm are the only ones that can equip them, but look at that. Plus six to all of those stats, increases the defense and magic evasion. So really, 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 really good. Uh, really, really, really good there. So we definitely want to have that. And I want to make sure I put the cat ear hood on Realm there. Uh, that would be a huge help there. And everybody else, I don't think we're about your defense so much. So actually, yeah, let's get the Genji Helm on out and okay i got everyone's relics equipped and and esper's on so we're all good what i want to do now is let's return let's return to thamasa now that we have both people that are from thamasa on our party both realm and strago let's see what's going on over there now that uh everything is good to go with our party we have both of them back let's see how things have have progressed since we've been here last let's take a look and what do we got here? Yay! All right. And she's gonna go to the home and yes. <laughs> well, that's not entirely true. Wait, what? What's up? Gung Ho is hurt. Oh no! We saw that guy in the World of Balance. Who's the guy in orange? Oh man, what happened? Hide on. Oh, man. He's alive? Jeez. Man, gung-ho, hang in there, buddy. Jeez. All right, we got to go find Hydon and kick his ass. Let's go! Oh, it's, wait, did your dream was to defeat Hydon? Kind of a weird dream, but okay. All right, now we gotta go stop hide on. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but I think that seems right. Hit on, hit on. I like hide on. Um. Okay. Wait, so you're gonna go by yourself, Strago? That isn't very smart. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Yeah. I mean, I'm 10 years old, but I've got more sense than you. Isn't that how kids work these days? Oh, I see. Okay, well, that's fine. You can at least be in the party. To... To Ebot's Rock. Phew. What? What do you mean? Why are you sighing? I don't like that too much. Okay. What do I, first thing I need to do is I need to rest up at the end. Because I've done... Wait, I haven't done that in a while. What do we have here? Oh, really? Sure. Uh, yes, that's true. Yeah, where are we going? Oh, yeah, I've been over here already. So basically, this is going to tell you about where Gogo -Go is. Right over there. But, we, but we've already been there. We know how that works. But if you haven't been there... And actually, we're going to be going back to fighting some enemies there a little bit later on. <laughs> yeah, and because clearly that will never happen in this game. So, And uh, the inn here is good because it's only a gill. So that should be fine. I need to rest up and heal my MP. By the way, that was my party. Strago, Realm, Gao, and Gogo -Go for this next part. Uh, for this next part, you need to have Strago. And it's been a while since we've done any real grinding with Realm. So we want to get her going. Gogo -Go can steal some stuff. And Gao is actually pretty good in this next area, too. They all have growth rings and heroes rings, so we're good to go. And after that sketch, you'll see that a new cave has opened up here, Ebot's Rock. All right. Very good. Okay, and for this next part, what I've done is I've cast floated up. I've casted float on everybody, because we're going to need that for this next part. All right. Hey, huh? I can't see. What the hell? Hey, there's a chest. It's a talking treasure chest? 
Hungry, hungry, hungry. Man, that's like the I hate, 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 hate you from the original Final Fantasy VI with Kefka. Man, hungry, hungry hippos. Rude. Uh, sure. Oh. How many corral does he need? Well, let's see if we can go find some. So basically the way this cave works is you have to get new random battle against some new enemies here. The Aspidoclodon, the moon form, and the creature. All right. So basically uh, what we want to do here is... Let's see, who's got it? No, you don't have it. No, who's, uh, who's got it? You? Nope. Nope. I must be you. Yeah, okay, so let's get Phantom on everybody. Because a lot of the enemies' attacks in here are physical. And, you know, we're going to want to use... We want to get a lot of fire magic going here. So how about, uh... Let's see. Yeah, most of this stuff will miss. Uh, I wish I had a level 3 fire magic. Unfortunately, I don't. Um... Templar will work. Templar will be just fine. And I've got... I've got sketch on because we can sketch a lot of creatures here now I, I can't remember what stance is oh gas is confused very nice well that didn't work it worked so that's it really worked so well yeah so the enemies in this cave are pretty straightforward there you go and uh Almost every enemy in this game will either, or in this cave, will either drop a, a teleport stone, or you can steal a teleport stone from them. So let me just keep that in mind. Uh oh, crap! Well, that's gonna negate the floats or the phantom status. Oh well, that's fine. I'll just reapply it in the next round. Ugh. Hey, but at least I'm getting holy going. Yeah. Uh, Gogo's got the holy run. Holy Rod on. So, so just, yeah, that's definitely helpful. Good shot. Oh, I guess we only use Flash Rain on one person as a counter attack. That's fine. All right, very good. Yeah, so the creatures in this cave are not that hard. Okay, what I was saying was basically how this cave works is you take a chest and uh, then you teleport. And face a new enemy here, the Madava. Okay, as you can tell, this is a dead enemy. So, I believe... Uh, let's see, does somebody have life? I'm sure somebody has rays. There it is. Let's cast rays on him. And we should be good to go. Thank you. There you are. So basically, uh, you, you, you take a chest, and then you can teleport to another area. And then you, then you can walk around, take another chest, and then you just teleport. And it'll send you to another area, and you can check and see. Uh, sure. Very good. What do you mean that wasn't enough? Ugh. So basically what you need to do is you need to go through this cave, and you need to find 22 pieces of corral, and you need to give them to it all at once. Now we got a bunch of new enemies here. The Warlock... The Medusa chicken and a creature. So, that's fine. Uh, we can deal with these things, no problem. Um, I think it's something strong. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait. The team. She's the team. There you go. I think, by the way, if you leap on the second Behemoth King uh, on the Velt, that's how you can learn the Rage. You can't learn the Rage of the first one, you can learn the second one. And it's Fire Aga, so that could be useful. But Meteor works just as well. Uh, these these chickens, by the way, can cast Quake as well. Just keep that in mind. And if you, oh, bio! Ooh, that's a good one. Yup. Yeah, Meteor's gonna be awesome in this area. You just wanna use that a bunch. There you are. Oh, good. Now I can upgrade her... her Espinosa. So then basically, it just sends you on a random place, and then you get some corral, and you keep looping this over and over until you... 
until you get enough Corel. Ooh, and, and you have a random number. You can either get one, two, three, four, or five pieces. As long as you get over 22, you're good to go. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do that off screen. It, it's it's going to be kind of pointless for you to see me to see me do that over and over again. So I'm just going to take care of that off screen. Is she working on... Oh, jeez. Let me get her working on uh, Fire 2 there. Or fire, whatever. Uh, so I'm going to take care of that off screen, and then I will be back once I have completed that. Because like I said, you don't need to see me do that. Uh, let's get a shell, why not? Okay, so I'll take care of that, and I'll be back once I have 22 pieces of crown. So basically just follow the paths, and you'll figure it out. Okay, I finally made it here, and I have enough pieces of corral. I don't know if you can check... Uh... Yeah, so it just says there's some coral there. So you have to kind of keep track on your own uh, how that works there. So, all right, we we'll go talk to him. Yes, I have like 28 things. So let's have some of that. Haha, -ha, got him. As long as you have at least over 22, you're good. Now that the chest is full, can I take its contents? Rude, there are ladies present. Yeah, let me through. Yes. Uh, is the chest gonna get sick? Weird. Okay, so uh, let's go forward and... Hey, there's Hydon! So let's take this guy out. And now it's time for a boss battle against Hydon and Erebus. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to focus on taking out uh, these Erebuses first. I uh, can't remember if they're dead or not. We also want to try and steal something from Hydon. He has a rare steal, though. It'd actually be very useful if we could get it. Okay, so they are dead monsters. Very good. Now, you don't you actually don't want to take out Hydon quite yet. You just want to take out these Erebuses first. Now, eventually, I'm just going to cast life on Hydon and kill him. Because that's how it works. And we still have teleport stone. Not quite what I was looking for, but that's okay. Yeah, and if you just cast life on Hydon, he dies. But I actually want to get Hydon by himself. There's a very specific reason for that. But I believe I can use rays to kill these these little Erebuses, which is what I want to do. Never mind, can't do that. So we just want to take these things out first. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, Gal can help us out a lot with that. Hydon, by the way, has 25,000 HP. But yeah, so again, don't take out Hydon. You want to focus on taking out these Erebuses first because there's actually a lore that we can learn uh, from Hydon once he's by himself. And it's a very, very, very useful lore. So we're going to try and make full use of this. Ooh, not bad. Good shot. You know, I'm surprised. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, he is not there. So let's, uh... I guess we can just use drill. That's fine. Yeah, that worked. Uh, that worked really well. So we're gonna do that again. Very good. Yeah, I said. Now the easiest way to do this is just to cast. Easiest way to do this is just to cast. Uh, yeesh. Well, I better. I better get his HP up. The easiest way to win this battle is to just cast uh, Life or use a Phoenix Dawn on Hydon and you win. But, uh, okay, good. He's by himself. All right, excellent. I wish I had an item command going with the Strig or with Gogo there. All right. Okay, good. Now he's doing what I want him to do. And here's the lore I want to learn. Grand Delta. So now once he's used that, just get Rays going. And this should finish him. Oops, no! Oh, I meant to do that on everybody. Crap. And this should finish off Hydon because he's a dead monster. Uh, please work. Thank you! Woohoo! Got him! Yeah, so no problems there. Again, I just wanted to learn Grand Delta. I, 
Again, you can just do that right from the beginning of the battle and you win, but gotta try and learn the lore. And this is one of the only opportunities you're gonna have to learn Grand Delta, if not the only opportunity. So Strago Mug Vanish, Berserk, and he learned the Grand Delta lore. Fantastic. I, I really beat Hydon. Of course he did. Absolutely. Now he slowly makes his way out of here. Now, it makes absolutely no difference if you send Strago by himself to do this. In fact, it's actually not a good idea to do that. You want to send him with other party members. Gung Ho? Oh, good, he's alive. <laughs> ha ha! And we have defeated Hydon. You white. Of course we beat Hydon. Hello? This is a video game. It wasn't that hard. Yep, Realm was there too. Ha <laughs> ha! I love that confidence. Well done, well done, well done. Your wound's healing, yeah. Wait, what? He's, as I was going to say, yeah, he was jumping around pretty good for someone that's injured. Oh, I guess we're going to get a little uh, extra scene there. Kind of see what's going on during the evening. Yes. Man, is this like a fishing story? It was that big. No, really, it was that big. Man, this is like one of those old Batman cartoons. Pow! Zonk! Zapui! <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, thank you, Strangle. You're putting us all to sleep. We understand. You went in, you cast life on an enemy, and killed him. Mm hmm. <laughs> of course! Wait, wait! You were faking it, Gung Ho? You jerk! <laughs> Actually, no, that's no surprise there. Yeah, no kidding. Hydon was ready to rumble. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Man, calling his ass out. <laughs> oh, dear. Family feud, I guess. <laughs> Why, you little? <laughs> ah, that's great. Alright. Oh, oh, geez. I'm, uh, poisoned. Uh... I better go to the inn and rest up. I believe it's you lose one HP. Oh, jeez. It's a, you lose a lot of HP. Maybe it's one HP for every uh, level you have. I don't know. But either way, it's a lot of HP, and we need to heal up. All right, very good. Cool. All right, very nice. And we're all healed up, and we're all ready to go. By the way, uh, if you talk to Gung Ho enough, he'll say that Hydon has reappeared, and eventually you can actually go back and kill Hydon again if you want, uh, get that 6 AP if you forgot to learn Grand Delta, and you just do it over and over again until you get Grand Delta, so that's pretty cool. All right, and now we've found and powered up every single character that you can get in the game, except for one. But can we find the last party member, complete our party, and make our group as strong as it can possibly be? You're going to have to wait your next time to find out. So then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP. Check out my blog. Check out my donations page. And as always, take care, y'all.